So, never being one to let common sense get in the way, somebody asked me, can you do fly cutting on this? And I've seen one video of a guy doing it, and he had a much more professional setup than me. But seeing as how this thing is on its last legs, due to what we just did, let's try fly cutting. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to the internet. I have a treat for you. I'm hoping I will break my machine tonight. Uh, this is a 7 16 four flute high speed steel rougher. Um, I'm going to run it at 4100 RPM at 20 inches per minute. This width of cut is going to be 250 thousandths of, of an inch. That's right, quarter inch at 20 inches per minute. G Wizard says I should be able to do this. It's going to take a half a horsepower. But G-Wizard says I can do this. I, I really think this is going to break my machine. <laughs> Enough stalling. Here we go. I told the machine that my piece was four inches long, so hence this face milling operation is way off. Alright, let's see if we can crash it. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, G Wizard. We need to have a talk. I mean, it looks like, and unfortunately, I don't have any video. I, I think this slipped. I think this whole motor got pulled forward. Do we have evidence of this? Like, of it adjusting? Give me some wear. Yeah, you can see right here. You can see where the paint was rubbed away when I first tightened this down. So there was enough force on this that it pulled this entire motor assembly towards the front by, oh, eighth of an inch or so. Enough that this belt was loose enough that it just started slipping. Huh. So, I can't rule out that G-Wizard is at fault for this because... Technically, it might have been able to do it if the belt was rated for that kind of load. It's not really. This was rated for one-fifth horsepower, and we always knew this was the weak link in the system. Hmm. I suppose it doesn't help that my belt has cracks in it as well. Well, what did we learn from this? steps to take away that this particular end mill leaves a absolutely spectacular finish yeah we were trying to take a pretty big chunk out of that look at that ah uh, I'm, I'm kinda sad that I couldn't see it work very next thing we do replace the pulleys it's gotta happen when we gotta do it now so, never being one to let common sense get in the way, somebody asked me, can you do fly cutting on this? And I've seen one video of a guy doing it, and he had a much more professional setup than me. But seeing as how this thing is on its last legs, due to what we just did, let's try fly cutting. 20 inches per minute. And, um, I don't know, maybe 2,000 RPM? I'm gonna go put on the face shield, I think. Let's go down a thou. Alright, one thou, no problem. Two thou. That 
seem to be getting a little sketchy. Let's try three thousandths of an inch cut. <laughs> All right, kill the safety. So we're using a quite sketchy high-speed steel cutter that happened to come in an eBay special. Um, I once again, the belt is what failed, not the actual motor. The motor just started spinning freely. So not the correct speeds and feeds for this. And with a sketchy dull cutter, Totally can be done. I bet if we put an actual good point on that, we might actually get something worthwhile. Yeah, she's she's pretty much flat at this point. She she did have a bit of a round to her earlier, but I think we wore her down. I mean, the surface finish is eh. It was much. It was better when it was sharp. I bet if we put a round point on that, she'd be just fine. But holy, look at this belt. It's catastrophic. This belt, it's, it's just, it brings a tear to your eye. Look at that thing. How is it living still? This is kind of astounding in of itself. Like, we should be, send, we should be recording this for posterity. I mean, look at, there's nothing left of it there. There is absolutely nothing left of this belt. It is shredded. Okay. <laughs> Definitely need to update pulleys. Hey, thanks for watching and uh, having a laugh with me. Be sure to like and subscribe, and, you know, if you like what you see. Hey, thanks for having a laugh with me in the shop here. Uh, if you like what you see, be sure to like and subscribe and, and leave a comment, you know. Could use some encouragement <laughs> in breaking my machine. Well, actually, I don't need encouragement. I'll do it all on my own.